What's the point of the question? Who cares? <laughs> Paso entre tú y yo. Only be here for you. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, Natty Foodie Fitness here. I just had a very last minute spontaneous idea. My brother is actually here for the weekend and so we're about to go and train together. We never train together, we've trained once together. Alex? Yeah? Come here for a sec. I've not let him know that he's about to become known to the YouTubes. Um, we're doing a video together. Alright. Ah! <laughs> Yeah. Do you just want to tell the people what happened last time we trained together? Oh, I threw up. <laughs> wasn't wasn't ready for that level of intensity. He wasn't ready, but this time he's taking me it's my, through. It's my work. Nati's gonna actually lift some weights <laughs> and actually make some upper body games. He always has a go at me for the fact that I do not train my upper body. We're gonna train shoulders. I've trained shoulders three times, I believe, and that's it he's gonna take me through that workout and then we're gonna do a bit of a Q&A with the bro so give the video a big thumbs up for the fact that I have got my brother on a YouTube video it's only been a year and a half finally gonna make an appearance so smash that thumbs up button for the bro I think we're gonna need this this time uh, yeah. <laughs> apple sour flavor cola to making bro games. How you feeling G? Ready. <laughs> We've got the pre-ready, but let's do this. <laughs> Mission one. Just about. <laughs> Just about. Film a YouTube Q&A, so ask any questions you have. Yeah. And then one big push. Got it. Bring them here, and then kind of. I am completely new to this. Push two, and then one up. Dumbbell. Anyway, we're about to do some side raises. Shoulder vein will be incoming shortly. Time. Don't I? <laughs> Starting to get a tricep. So I know she talks a lot about genetics on her channel. So the tricep is something in our family. It's come from my mum. How many times do I need to say I don't know? <laughs> Looks like you you've got quite a sweat on there. So what we do in front? Front raises. Front Let's do this! Boys, well, whatever the next four you is. Hashtag rope. I've done this machine once in my life, guys. Why are you stalling, bro? Why are you stalling? <laughs> Teach how to train. 
Justin, Jimmy, I'm trying. I feel like I'm not really working hard because I'm not sweating whatsoever. But this might be best to you know, I've reduced the seat. Just push that. Yeah. Squeezing at the at the extension, yeah. So guys, the thing is, the way that I train is I literally come into the gym, smash like 42 minutes and then I'm out. I don't really have time to like wait around and sit around. So I get a bit agitated. The waiting for a machine, I'm not about that. It's waiting to do what are they called, those things? Chest flies. Chest flies. Give me a number, Alex, one to 20. 20. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay, I've upped it. I'm getting brave. <laughs> How are you feeling? I'm surprised. I'm feeling okay. So overexposed. Okay, so we just finished up my brother's shoulder workout. How are you feeling? <laughs> Do you want brown or white? have been made we're gonna just have some food and then we are filming this q a we're both in there look you can just go forward a little bit <laughs> like all right. this all right. okay all right guys okay just drop my phone okay we're back with my brother didn't introduce him earlier who are you hey people i'm alex <laughs> the elder bro the elder in fact bro. that was one of the questions so we're gonna do a q a i've asked you guys to ask me questions on instagram and we're basically gonna answer a few questions but i talk for britain my brother i mean he can talk he can talk so we're gonna put a timer of 15 minutes and see how many questions we can answer for you 15 minutes start now is your brother also a nutter no I definitely think that I'm the nuttier one of the two of us. My brother's always been more of a, like, he'll assess a situation, analyse, think things through, whereas I'll go for it. Uh, yep. <laughs> okay, this one's just come up a lot, so I just feel, let's just get this one out of the way. Are you single? Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna link his Instagram <laughs> below, but it's on private, isn't it? <laughs> I'll accept people if you have me <laughs> <laughs> So many questions on who eats more. Give it to her. My brother can eat, but he'll just eat meals, whereas I'll eat meals and then think about snacks all day. You can go hours without eating. Yeah, I don't I don't feel the need to keep eating donuts <laughs> between every meal. I have like big meals. Just big meals, whereas I can eat volume, but I snack constantly. Do you both have the same shoulder vein? Uh, um, <laughs> wait, wait, where? Where is the shoulder vein? Okay, wait, let's... No, actually, we don't, you don't need to see here. I just know if, you, if you'd been watching the video properly and you go back 10 minutes, you'll have seen us training and you'll have seen the shoulder vein there. What? I don't even know where it is. <laughs> where is it? It's gone. <laughs> we lost the pump. We've been talking for too long, so... Oh, look, I'm getting a pump just from going like this. Is that what they do in the competitions backstage with the band? <laughs> Yeah, you get a pump in the back. By the way, guys, I thought I would just mention that my mum also has the same matching shoulder vein. Show the people. So, where's mine? I don't know, I've kind of lost mine. Where's yours? There it is. <laughs> there it is. I just thought I'd let them know. Yeah, Alex has got the same and it's in the video, so I thought... So, you're currently on YouTube like a red tomato. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. What do you do for work? Uh, I work in wealth management. I am a behavioural economist in a behavioural finance role. Super clever, let's just say that. Where did you go to uni? University of Cambridge. Has there always been a competition between which siblings has the biggest muscles? No, there hasn't, because this sibling here didn't know what muscles were until a couple of years ago, so there's been <laughs> yeah. no competition here. <laughs> so I've been gymming for two and a half years. How long have you been training for? It's been about eight years. Like I always say, I have no desire to be very muscular. She says, with shoulders. <laughs> I go for the feels. What, what do you train for? For the feels as well. Just bettering yourself in every aspect of life. A lot of people ask this sort of question, like, oh, why do you take gym so seriously? It's not for I want to be the biggest guy in the room. If you're trying to be the best person you can be, I don't understand why in the domain of fitness, you also wouldn't want to be the best you can be. 
Are you guys getting vibes that I'm sounding like him and he's sounding like me? I think there's a question here that says, are we similar people? I think we are similar and different. So yeah. our day to day, how we act and the things we do is quite different. But in the mindset, we would quite quite similar. And if you go deeper into what we're trying to do and why we're doing things. One thing I'm realizing through the whole Nutty Foodie Fitness YouTube channel and the video series she's putting out and the content that she is producing her way of thinking is kind of similar and that sort of desire to be the best you can be is is there and i think that's where the similarities definitely yeah show. and i also just want to say i'm always asked about where i get my motivation and why am i so motivated so driven where's this mindset coming from and i think a lot of this is to do with my brother like my brother He's always been the, the person that I look up to, like his, his work ethic. Let's mic drop, let's mic drop his work <laughs> ethic. I get that from him. What's your favorite food? Pizza, <laughs> when you think about her obsession with peanut butter, I can quite happily eat pizza all day, every day. Um, favorite childhood memories? <laughs> I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take this one. Are you thinking about what I'm thinking? Think Are you thinking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, how old? I don't know. It was in the other house, wasn't it? Six, seven. In our previous house, well, he he, he doesn't actually live with me, but he's here for the weekend. So when we were younger, I don't know how old we were, I was in my room and I called my brother. I was like, Alex, Alex, quick, run, run. And he's he's like coming up and he's like, what? He's like, I want to show you something. So he comes in, the door opens, and I literally smack his head with an Argos catalogue. <laughs> Is nearly unconscious. <laughs> it was so funny. We were literally it dying. Very, very funny. It was hilarious. It was painful, but it was very funny. For me, I'm gonna say that's probably yeah. up there with childhood memories. It's the first thing that comes to mind, so I think. Yeah, that... there's a lot of questions here on are we quite close and have we always been close? Yes. <laughs> I was gonna say if you said no then that would be awkward but no we are, we are. Um, when you grow up together when you go through things as a family together uh, like we did when we were younger you become close I also want to say we shared many fond memories playing Super Mario on Nintendo 64 <laughs> Super Mario 64 and Mario Kart is oh my where God. a lot of the bonding happened the best there's no other console that would be better than the Nintendo yeah, 64 I agree with that no no chance do we share the same eating habits no we don't my brother takes the mick out of me about the fact that I can't go like an hour without eating he'll be like stop crying like you're not gonna die and I'm like I'm hungry and he's just like just just get on with things like we're completely different in that sense <laughs> Are you very jealous about your sister's appetite and metabolism? No, why would I care? I don't... You people obsess way too much about her eating and her calories. She's her, she's not you, so why would I care what she eats? It doesn't affect me, unless I'm paying for all her meals, which I don't. Oh, yeah. Why would I care? Luckily. Who cares? <laughs> Who has better abs? She does. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we just ate, but... I'm gonna take that one, I'm gonna take yeah, that one. Yeah, I'm on the forever barking, so... <laughs> oh, this is cute. I'm gonna have to ask this. Thank you for whoever sent this question in. Are you proud that your sister is able to inspire and motivate others on the daily like she does? Yes. I think it's always important at some point in your life to get to a point where you give back and she's started that quite early in life, so yes, I am. Thank you. Have you two always been active? Uh, I have. So, so if, let's I haven't. people are asking about kids and what we were like growing up, if we rewind back quite a few years. So I was a very, very skinny, long distance runner. He was a stick. I was skinnier than she was. I used to weigh less than she was. You uh, were like a feather. But as a kid, I was always the runner. Um, I'd run all the time. There was a particular summer when we were about 14. There was a summer where I was training for a 400 meter or an 800 meter race. We were staying with our dad and me and him would train every single day we would be doing laps around this park and he would be timing me and that was the first time we tried to get Steph to do a bit <laughs> of exercise but I think I did like half a lap and like died but it was like... a struggle she was not known as the athletic no. one in the family growing up this is a very recent phenomenon like I'm a newbie like to all of this we should do a comparison of me as the stick when I've got the eight pack. I'm gonna insert a photo of what my brother used to look like <laughs> back in the day. What I used to look like and um, yeah, this is what we look like now. What was I gonna say? We were saying something. Oh, about the active. I've always been always active. Always been active. Yeah, no. 
uh, I would say our, our whole family is quite active. This isn't a one of us decided to do it and then the other one did. Like we come from like quite a, a family which is quite active in general. Yeah, our parents are pretty good shape I'd say. I'd take that a step further, in very good shape. They have they there you go. good physiques. How old are you? 28. And I'm 26, gonna be 27, so yeah. Older bro. How often do we see each other? A lot. Yeah. Do we fight a lot? Who's got time for fighting at this age? <laughs> yeah. The only people that are fighting are the ones in your comments, the haters. <laughs> The haters! If you could only eat at one restaurant, where would it be? Nando's. <laughs> I knew you were so gonna say that. I started with pizza, but it's Nando's. That's a difficult question because I like variety, I like different things. The question is which one that you can't get <laughs> unless you eat at some multicultural. Because right, like right now, if I had to just. The first restaurant that came into my head right now was GBK just because it's been a little while since I had a burger, but. No. <laughs> Next question. Favourite machine for the games? But if you're talking about favourite exercise, hex bar deadlift at the moment. Hmm. I haven't deadlifted in ages, but mine... I don't know if they wanted to know mine or if they just wanted to know yours. I'll just say mine anyway. I've got a love-hate relationship with the, um, what one's that? Leg press. Leg press, yeah. Oh, it's painful, but it's good pain. A couple minutes. Ah! <laughs> Who could plank longer? Not interested in the 15 minute thing. <laughs> I mean, I've done it now, that's it. But again, just wanted to do do it to prove myself that I could if I wanted to. Um, zodiac sign? <laughs> <laughs> Pisces, Scorpio. Um, so, what's it like growing up with such an awesome sister? I'm not making that up, by the way. It's, uh, it's this is there. What's it like growing up with such an awesome sister? It's great. So we've definitely gone over on time, but I'm just going to ask a couple more. Does training with your sibling bring out your competitive side? No, because the whole point is for both of us to improve. We're not trying to outdo each other here. We're just trying to have a good workout. Yeah, and also like just we train for ourselves. So it makes no difference to me if my brother got like absolutely hench and ripped. Like I'm not going to be like, oh, his abs are better. And this goes on to the next question, the one that you were just about to read, which someone asked do we train in the same way oh, yeah. um, and do we eat in the same way? So training in the same way, no we don't. So I follow a four day split. So essentially he has structure in his training and I'm just like, go with the flow. <laughs> do I eat in the same way? Uh, no, I don't. So I generally do track calories, generally because I'm trying to put weight on. So it's just a way of forcing myself to hit certain numbers and to make sure I hit my protein numbers. Just like I've got no issue with eating all sorts of food. Yeah. That, that's what he does. And like I say every single day, I don't track and I'm not ever going to track. Do you speak Spanish at home? And what is it like being raised with parents from different countries? We speak Spanglish at home. Um, <laughs> yeah. So if you were to overhear how we talk, it's very random. It's English with a random word in Spanish or it's a whole sentence in Spanish or half in English, half Spanish. <laughs> it's uh, very all over the place. It's a bit of a random mix. Oh, yeah. but music, we've always got reggaeton playing. A lot of Spanish music. Always. Um, what's it like? What, what's, it, what, um, what's it like? What's it like being raised with parents from a different country? Uh, it, it's good. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I think we that's have a, a hard to... We have a Spanish mother and an Indian father, so obviously it's good in the sense of we have a very different cultural mix. Both cultures are quite different. I would say I probably am a... You're like the Indian one and I'm like the Spanish one. I think we're both quite equally Spanish, and then yeah. when it comes to the Indian side, I'm Indian and she's not. Basically my brother and my and my dad, they say that I'm like the white one because I'm I can't eat spice to save my life. Yeah, he's got the Indianness and then we've both got the Spanish in us. Someone said you're beautiful, thank you. Wait, Thanks, you're it's for me. <laughs> What's your favourite type of nut butter? The only one I generally have is peanut butter. Peanut butter for the win, come on. It's not even a question. Yeah, why are you I feel offended. I feel offended. <laughs> Something with superpowers. <laughs> has your bro any superpowers like your metabolism? He has a superpower. For instance, my gym code. If I told him the, the digits, maybe, I don't know how many there are, like 10, he'll remember it. Just like that. I don't even have to yeah, repeat sure. it. I'd say for me, that's your superpower. <laughs> Do you want to add any other superpowers <laughs> now that we're here? Nah, let's go Free. with that. Yeah? Which means anyone that says something in the comments, I'll remember it. And I'm pointing out the feet, the feet comment. <laughs> no one's actually asked about who's I don't got... understand why everyone's going on about the feet. <laughs> yeah, you know, no, no, no. Remember, remember when I got that feet comment. So if, for, for those of you that don't know, so it was like a photo of me on a beach, I think, like, and potentially there was like my feet in the shot. It wasn't even like, in the foreground and then I'm in the background like my feet weren't doing anything they were innocently just chilling there and someone literally commented vomit emojis the vom ones going your feet are disgusting 
And my brother literally said, they haven't seen mine. If we want to talk about who's got the worst feet. That's me. <laughs> Favourite cartoon growing up? Pokemon! Gotta go. No? Yeah, Pokemon. Pokemon definitely. Yeah. As they're like... All time. Um... Hey Arthur, we used to watch quite oh, yeah. a bit. Hey Arthur was quite good. What's that one where it's like, hey, what a wonderful time of day. We can learn to work and play. Is that Hey Arthur? Hey Arnold. Hey Arnold! <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> football head, I got confused. <laughs> oh, hey Arnold. Hey yeah. Arnold. Hey Arthur was Arthur the was one that little bear thing. The little... The little rabbit or whatever <laughs> he was. <laughs> the Those Simpsons. Two. Yes. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. They asked for one, but go on, keep listening. No, because Simpsons was 6 to 6.20, Fresh Prince of Bel Air was 6.20 to 7. Those were the days. For the Spanish people, well, they watched the channel, the Pequeño Mocosos, what were they called? <laughs> <laughs> Three. <laughs> I don't know what it was called. Anyone in the Spanish the Spanish three little brothers and they used to be called Los Mocosos or Los Pequeñitos Mocosos or something. And there was like a grandma that would was looking after the uh, Yeah, if you know, comment down below. Alright uh, guys, we've been talking for too long. We're gonna answer one last question and seeing as it's the last question, I'm gonna go for a Spanish question because I know you guys are always saying film a YouTube video in Spanish. So hey, we're gonna answer this last question in Espanol. Vale. Así que, ¿cuál es tu canción favorita? Lo que pasó, <laughs> pasó entre tú y yo. <laughs> ¿Es tu favorita? Sí, all time favorite, I'd say. <laughs> yo no sé. Yo tengo muchas, pero mi cantante favorito es Ed Sheeran. Así que, ¿alguna canción de él? <laughs> I think we should wrap up the video, don't you think? Thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, give it a like, leave a comment about what else you want to see in the next video yeah. and really important, stay nutty my friends. Woo! I think you did a good job there. Yeah, thanks a lot guys for watching. I'm not saying that my brother's outro wasn't good enough, but I just feel I had to end it as well. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you guys watching. Smash! smash that thumbs up button really helps me out and i fully appreciate it so again i'll see you guys in the next video stay nasty my friends peace no but you need to smash it smash the like and like touch the thing Don't peace. Yeah, but you need to um yeah thumbnail <laughs> bicep <laughs> should i go underneath what would you show if you had to show a muscle? I think we need to do the same thing, whatever it is. The bicep one that we had. Should we look at each other? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Okay, done. Okay. Do you... I thought you were going to sneeze. Do 